Hello, Rita here. Welcome to New Nail Tech Success, where I help you get started as a nail technician to create a business that you love and that is financially rewarding. That is my goal as well. So as you can tell by the title, I will be doing a tutorial on the Nail Light Odorless Acrylic System. This video is a follow-up to the video I did, How to Remove the Smell of Acrylic. If you haven't seen that, I will have the link in the description box. So let's get right into it. First, let's talk about the smell of acrylic. So you have the regular smell of acrylic, you have low odor, and then you have odorless. We know what regular smells like. Then you have low odor. Low odor means that you can smell it. It's faint, but you can't smell it in the air. And odorless means that you can't smell it in the air. Um, but if you actually put it to your nose, it has a smell to it. Some say it smells like warm plastic, and I do agree. But overall, you can't smell it in the air. Okay, so who should try odorless? Of course, people if who can't deal with the regular smell of acrylic, you should try odorless. But if you have yet to perfect your acrylic application or you're having a problem with being consistent with it, because the acrylic sets too fast for you, then you should try odorless because odorless is a slower set um, acrylic, which is why we don't smell it because it evaporates at a slow rate. Thus, we don't smell it. So it will give you the time to actually perfect the nail, and which is good because you won't have to do as much fouling and shaping, which we shouldn't be doing with our e-file. Anyway, we should be shaping with our brush. So this gives you the time to actually do that. And also, if you have yet to go to school, you will be using odorless acrylic more than likely. If not all the way through your program, at least some part of it in that. So it's a little tricky to work with. Um, it requires a mental adjustment. If you've already used regular, it, it, regular acrylic, it requires a mental adjustment to your technique. Um, so you need to get a jump start on that. Um, and lastly, if you know you just want to be able to add odorless to your skills, go ahead. You know, jump right in. Um, it definitely is a challenge, and we are all about challenges, right? Um, that's how we get better um, with anything. Um, and it's good to have. You'll never know. You might have that client who just the slightest smell of the acrylic. Oh my gosh! So they can't deal with it at all. So you will have that option. Some of the complaints about odorless is that, you know, it's runny. It doesn't form balls well, um, like a regular acrylic, you know. It, it's hard to lay down and build the nail with. It doesn't set up well, meaning that when you sit it down, it just keeps running. <laughs> and that it doesn't bond well to the natural nail. It has a slow drying time and it finishes with a tacky layer. And it turns yellow. These are the reasons. And these are the truths. <laughs> um, I've discovered as well getting reacquainted with odorless. All that is true. But um, the main thing to remember with odorless is it requires way less liquid than um, regular acrylic. It soaks up a lot of liquid. So you're going to, when you play with it, you're going to have to keep, you know, adjusting the amount of liquid in the brush to equal the powder, which is what we do with all acrylic systems. You're just going to have to work even more so to get drain as much liquid out of that brush to get it to correlate, to get a, a ball to be able to be worked with. That is the main thing, okay? Um, to remember at all times working with odorless and to help you do that you are going to need a smaller brush because that makes sense you don't need a humongous butt brush to soak up even more liquid you need a smaller one because it's going to soak up a lot of liquid anyway so those are the two main things to think about when you are practicing with odorless acrylic system I went ahead and Got the nail light odorless. This is what it is, the system. I looked at different ones 
before I settled on Nailite because I've ordered from Nailite, good customer service, good products. And so, and the other, and the quantities, look how big this is. Um, it's great. Um, this was at the time $27. They're sold together. Um, the other brands were way smaller. And it comes in natural, clear, white, and pink. Um, Nail Light says that um, you don't need a primer with their odorless acrylic system. And they also say that um, their system will not turn yellow. This is what they claim. So shipping can be a little pricey at Nail Light. It was $10 for shipping and then $3 for the residential delivery fee. It's like you're going to charge me three extra dollars to deliver up to my house. Where else would it be delivered? I don't know, but that's their thing. So, but if you can deliver it to a business, they don't charge that. But I figured for the quantity that you, that I was getting, I, I would eat the price on that. It was packaged well, didn't leak. So yeah, and this is odorless. This is an odorless acrylic uh, for sure. I took the cap off, left it off all night and no smell when I came down in the morning. So we're good on that. All right, so let's take it to the table now. So what I'm doing is just seeing how much liquid is in my brush to give me an idea of how much powder I need to pick up. I'm swiping my brush on the side twice. And at this point, I'm just guessing how much powder I need to try to get the ratio right. I'm placing my ball. And as you can see, it's turning to a pearl. Um, just so you're aware that with odorless, the pearling starts, which indicates that it's the right ratio when you place it on the nail. Unlike regular acrylic, the pearl starts um, on the brush because it is a faster setting acrylic. And I'm just going ahead and just, you know, continuing to make my practice balls um, just to get a feel and a better understanding of the ratio. And if you can see there, I twirled my brush to get the uh, a ball off. I found that works good if you twirl your brush to get the acrylic off. Um, it works out better. So when you are making your balls, just make sure that there's not a lot of liquid surrounding them. Um, keep mindful of that because that would be liquid that's actually going on the nail and that is not what we want. Okay, so we're gonna um, take it to the nail. I'm just swiping it, and I'm sorry that about my uh, dappin dish, but the powder is not in frame. So I'm twirling my uh, acrylic off of my brush, and I'm putting it to the cuticle, but not at the cuticle, and I'm pressing it up. You have to constantly wipe your brush, guys, on the paper towel, and that's going to help get some even more liquid out of that brush so that you can actually work the acrylic. When you're working with odorless, you have to pat it. Don't pull it and don't work very hard. You want to use light feather strokes um, because it is still setting up. So you're just basically trying to guide it into place. Hold the finger down so that the acrylic will work with gravity and push it along. I'm going ahead in and putting in another ball. I don't know if you can really see it, but the acrylic stopped where it's glossy. So I'm placing that second ball right there to finish, to complete the nail. And I'm just patting, patting, wiping my brush and letting it go down the brush. I mean, sorry, and letting it go down the nail. Um, this is kind of like one ball where you just, you know, let the acrylic go down the nail and you're just guiding it into place. The nail is built up. It's credit card thick, as you can see. All sides of it looks like it's pretty good. Um, maybe you can't see that from the camera, but it is. I built that nail up. And so that's what you want. Put as many layers on it as you need because, as I stated, it is a thin acrylic because of how much liquid that it carries. Um, so, yeah, that's what you want to do. So, can you tell which one is uh, orderless? I'll give you a second. All right. If you can't, it's B. Um, you probably can't see it from the camera, but it is 
yellow. It has a yellow tint. So nail light, your nails do turn yellow, but not as dark as I've seen. So, yeah. 150 grit file to um, get the tacky layer off of the nail. Here's a tip. Before you actually file, put a little cold water on the nail, and that will make it easier to get the tacky layer off. And just use a soft hand when you are fouling. Then I'm going in and using my buffer. Soft, same with that, just soft, refining it. Um, to get it smooth and we're doing this just as we do, would do with regular acrylic um, And that's pretty much the end of the nail making sure that it's smooth all the tacky is off and that it looks good from each angle Okay, so I'm putting on a top coat just to finish the nail to give you a full effect of what it looks like finished And that's it for older list guys um, The link to nail light will be in the description box and just to leave you with these tips as a review with working with odorless, you just want to use way less monomer than you think you need. You want to use a smaller brush. And you want to go ahead and just play with that ratio to get it down pat. Um, and that will solve a lot of the setup problems that I talked about earlier in the beginning of the video. When it comes to finishing the nail, the tacky layer is the main thing. Um, it dries in about two and a half minutes. So after that, you hit it, the nail, it'll be tacky, but it still sound like it's dry. Go ahead and lightly and file. Go in and then buff like you would regular with your uh, acrylic nails and you'll be good to go. Um, as far as myself, I'll continue to use or at least, at least the rest that I have and just have it as a backup for a client. It's really not that bad as with everything in the nail industry. You have to practice to make perfect. All right, guys, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Um, if you use Odorless and have any tips to share with, share with us, please do. If you have yet to become a part of the family, please subscribe. And we'd love to have you. And until next time, guys, please take care of yourself.